Hey guys, it's Yu Yi. Welcome back to my channel. I make videos about physical and financial fitness for millennials. So over a month ago, I actually put out a video about a $100 millennial grocery haul, which I always keep referring to because I still have most of the food that I bought there. One thing I have noticed is that I am lacking in produce, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. I just figured that I would go to the store and grab some of these items so that I don't feel that restricted in what I can or cannot cook. The other plus side is that I'm putting more whole foods into my body that are high in fiber and rich in nutrients. Hey guys, so I just came back from the grocery store. The total ended up being like $85, but I also got Percy like two relatively expensive treats and some fruit that would last me for a while. Okay, so here is the second grocery haul, I guess, but this is mostly, I would just call this a produce haul. This is all pretty much perishable food. Got some bread, some mozzarella that isn't actually real mozzarella, <laughs> and some deli ingredients so that I can start making sandwiches and bringing those to work. I'm not usually a sandwich person, but when I was there, I was craving it. So these large eggs, like half of this box was 50 cents. So I got two of them. The medium eggs, there, was, there were only a few left. These were like 89 cents. These carrots were like $1.99. These are pick three for $9.99. Cottage cheese, I don't remember. I think it was like $3.49, but I can get, I think 50 or 25 cents back on Ibotta. And that'll put me over the $20 threshold where I can actually take the funds out of my account. I got some oranges, which I love, some green bell peppers, some red, orange, and yellow bell peppers, more onions two broccoli crowns, potatoes that I will now store in the fridge. These are the dog treats that I got, Percy. And then two, I guess, pre-made salad type of things. That was around $85. Okay, now that I finally have produce, I can make salads, make sides to my chicken and pasta dishes, and just eat healthier. I'm very happy I went. The store was actually not that full, but I kind of just wanted to go in and out. I didn't want to stay there and film things. They actually have a rather large selection of stuff now. The shelves are stocked, which is really good. Some things are still a little more expensive than they were before, but that's okay. So at this point, the only thing I anticipate purchasing within the next month could probably be some sort of meat, you know, chicken, beef, pork, etc. Only have chicken thighs left now. I tried going a little vegan for a while, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm actually really enjoying making these videos. It doesn't seem like a chore to me, but I am putting a lot of time into it. So if you could please give it a like if you enjoyed it, that would be great and seriously appreciate it. Comment below if you've been grocery shopping a lot or if you haven't. Let me know maybe how much you typically spend in a month. Thanks for watching.